I think the next step is we're supposed to return to base. Yeah, Gemini is the next one. There she is. Heard you had an interesting time at Thebes. Maniacs, lava. What's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At <laughs> least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. You look tired. Ha! You're never one to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Erend. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. <laughs> uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when I, I gotta... But I, I should get going. As soon as you want to... I'll give you the heads up. Cauldrons. I wonder if we have to activate the cauldrons. Aaron. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just... so much! I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the, um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there. Returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay, how about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Yup. Question time. You mentioned Eric Visser. How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand. To become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But, based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well... At least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zeniths. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. You want data, you'll find lots of it here. A diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this. And knowing you, I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them. But I was sent here to help you. I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find their way back to the path of truth. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but they're a good group. It's funny because one of your friends is, well, another you. 
Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in, you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck. But even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data with the permission from the overseers. Sounds restrictive and stifling. Mm -hmm. You're not wrong. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many diviners to search the legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Pharaoh spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow, the Renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. Mm -hmm. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse. But nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. So, Bohai, your overseer, will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. Nukage time. The Ancestors, is that what your people call the Old Ones? Yes and no. The Ancestors are the greatest of the Old Ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, Warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively <clears throat> under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek. Until we met you. 
Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone... Not even your family. Uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. Sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep, diviners are few in number, and the Empire is... well... fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But, if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. Forbidden knowledge. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use. ...thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are... ...detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. I need to get going, but if you need anything... All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about, to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right. I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. Oh, wait, do you guys leave me any goodies? You did. I was hoping we could... Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Mm. Varro gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. Oh, I also wanted to give you this. Super weapon? For helping with the land gods. Plain song is in your debt. Thank you, Zoe. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And yours? How to go with the chorus after we fix the land gods? They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news. Even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. Mm. I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. Read anything interesting lately? I found out the old ones used leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently, it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they used to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. 
Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth, like a heart beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. <laughs> Who wouldn't? I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the old world. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now just as it did before. How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it metal versus meat. <laughs> A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. <laughs> I need to get going. Metal right. versus meat. You've retrieved the Omega clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear's ready. Oh, it's gonna be hand all hands on deck? Hell yeah! From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega clearance. Hey, he shaved. When did he shave? Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. I see all of us settled in nicely. Our new Quen friend? The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Yeah, that's all before you. Now that I have Omega clearance, we can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. Once Gaia is back up and running, but we I haven't really interacted with them much. To good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zo liked it. I'm glad you and Zo found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. I should go get this to. Of course. Why is this locked? What's the point of having the other chick here if you can't interact with him? So, we're fighting immortals from the stars now? Why is there a check mark next to I... Okay. Oh, that's what I'm wearing. That's why. Data modules in. Very 
presence in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. Mm. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zenith. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. Huh. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone, in a cell again. A slave. Forever. Find your courage, woman. I at the odds. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I looked Junction. through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? Oh, D-back. Halo is just a bad bitch. Beta. 
You don't have a defect. Beta, look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost, he Did raised you, trained you, what? but he was never warm or loving. No? The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. Frost is a badass, that's why. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. No promises. Of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. Wait, you didn't study up on it at all? You just, oh my God. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. This focus thing's trying to kill me. You did almost drown it in fear. Not on purpose. Hey. Are you sure we shouldn't be uh, checking up on you? I mean, whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. And not that I'm judging. Oh, I'm totally George judging. Knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. <laughs> and I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So... No more reading. Yeah, I wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. They still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Erend. I'm glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. I should go. That yeah, same here. Aloy. 
everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a, uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. <laughs> Funny. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm, glad I'm you're coming. sure there's no um, running. That's this that's too much. That's just way too much. I mean, I appreciate them actually putting it in there, but god almighty. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered mm. it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. Ash, make sure you t may your path. And like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. What's this useful for us? Then you can't have it. I mean, um, uh, where's homeboy? Aloy. Are you well? Had a bit of an issue with Beta. It ah, okay. Really? Yeah. Why not? I once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life. It was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. Ah. Well, at least I avoided that. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it, if you have a moment. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where. Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Oh, we're doing that I'll first. Know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. I should go get ready. I await your orders. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the ten guide your way. I'm not sure that needed to be said at the very end.
Okay, let's uh oh. here we go. I'll come back. We're gonna go do that first. Oh, unknown campfire. Well, at least there's one over here. I don't know why there's one so, two so close by to each other, but whatever. Pretty sure this is where Kotalo wanted us to test his new arm. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Couldn't he have been there already? Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. Hm. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. <laughs> Fair enough. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. It has menaced the valley for some time. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan. Scorcher. But no longer. I'm honored to help. Oh, hell yeah. I need like a blade to shoot out of it. And he has four fingers, though. After you. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal. She's on to me. Yeah. Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. No, leave it on, dude. What, what are you doing? Why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... Wrong. Ugh. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks. Okay, I understand, but it's a tool. Use the tool, bro. Here. Something to mark our victory. Use Thank the tool. You. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. Kick his ass. Oh. 
Making sure, hang on. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, we need to go to landfall. Cost me two berries to do that? Wow. Skin stings in this cold. Wait, where's the unknown? Oh, just a campfire, not unknown camp. Okay, I got it. Oh, we need to go to landfall. Hey, it all went well, I take it. Hey, Alva, I'm in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy. Seven days later. I'm here. Had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva, what are you doing back in Landfall? And with the living ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh, yes, I stumbled across it, but there was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our search was very thorough. Mm, you're hiding something. What? That... That is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. Look, I get it, Nerik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan. How it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here, along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often the truth is forbidden. Come on, let's go. Whoa, how'd you get up there? All right. I'll come back, bro. Hey, you're back. Not bad with that diviner back there. You've come a long way since we first met. And Nerex, like I used to be, terrified of a misstep. And with the overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. That should be the facility ahead. Oh, we need to find a way in. First, I'll loot this safe. Oh, wait. My head. Oh. 
Up here. Well, Amiric wasn't lying about crumbling ruins, at least. Let's look around. Uh, Aloy, why is the ground shaking? That's not good, whatever it is. Whoa, that, that thing is huge! We'll have to take it out if we want to find that thing. Uh, okay. I'm Wait, what is this thing weak to? Not a fan of these snakes. Um, oh, frost. Okay. And you're very wiggly. Wow. Damn. Down it goes. Shall we go up? Whew. Well, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Right? We should be able to look around for that data now. I'm still getting a signal from my focus. What ammo did you have? Oh, I guess that was it. The firebombs that you toss way over in the corner. I mean, Jesus. Okay. So... This way. Might have collapsed when that slither fang came in. I see a light up in that ruin. There. A console. Must have been what Neric found. Let's see if it has anything on Leviathan.
don't think it'll connect. We're here. After you. Time for a swim. Mm, at least the water's not freezing. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like, back when the old ones were... Less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's find that light we saw earlier. On every expedition, the soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers first, to protect us diviners. But this is actually kind of fun. Data on Leviathan isn't here, but there's some kind of log. Delete the database? But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms, over 400 dead. The data's clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. Mm. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. Wow. That was her. The ancestor. Eileen Sasaki. Oh. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. And to their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. Uh... So, what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Gwen seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviners spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Though, now I wonder how much of it is actually true. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. Wow, she can jump that, but Halo can't? Come on now. I think this is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. Follow your lead. Out of that. Up we 
go. You doing okay, Olva? Yes. Don't worry about huh? me. How are we going to get across? Oh, that beam looks promising. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. surprise or we could sneak by and you know not fall off the tower That, whoa, what the heck? are the worst I agree because they're just so floaty well, pretty much anything that Up flies is the worst second being the um uh, the snake Should be able to cross over. Hey, Loy. I'm okay. There's some other people in first. You can do it. It's okay. You gotta run, girl. Please don't break. Alva! Ah! Oh, I'm okay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that 
would have been a long way to fall. Gotta make sure Alva makes it across before I take a look at this. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm fine. Yes. This passcode, reminder if you can't tell me what difference the passcode is. If you want a helpful, useful passcode, find. Um, find everything. Founding date, month, and year. It says the code is the month and year the company. All oh, doors locked. Huh. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. So the company was founded in October. Which is the tenth month of the year. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy. We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omoranda was a good idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Uh, dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Move. Oh, didn't even see that. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. was pressing this way no are you doing okay Aloy? i was pressing this way yeah it's just a long way up wow i don't see why Seriously? Oh, I'll stay here. That looks a, a little iffy to me. Yeah, I don't know what the, f the fuck am I? I'm up. What are you doing? 
while. What? What the actual? F what the no, fuck, Aloy? Here. Don't think I can manage that. Oh, God, this is exactly what I'm talking about—the inconsistency. Maddening. <sighs> I listen and follow my dad. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Whew. Well, that's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire beam, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Uh, whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. Wait, she's not scared? Okay, well, whatever. Made it. There you are. Come on. Let's see what's up here. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts. I... I think these were Eileen's. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. Oh, that must be the Larson McCory Award. The legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. Uh, what? H2 flow. Their early inventions had strange names. It's art, I think. Could it be? Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. Maybe.
It's too flow, so... 40. What is, um, hang on, let's see here. 4 is H. Not quite right. How old was Eileen when she won this award? 40. What was this thing again? The H2 flow. That must be the Dragonfly 6. Abbe used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. Dragonfly 6? I wonder if my focus can show me anything. What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Yeah, it's worth a try. Okay, so hold up. So we have 40. You said Eileen was how old when she won this? 40. What was the name of this thing? The H2 flow. Two. 25. You said this was commissioned for something? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. And six. So. Forty. Two. Twenty-five. Six. That didn't do anything. I thought what? that would have worked. Did we overlook something? Could look around with my focus. Yeah, I already did. Forty. If it's a random order, that's just what silly. What was this called again? The H2 flow. And two. What was this for again? The company's 25th 25. anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. What was this called again? The Dragonfly 6. Okay. Forty. Two. That did it. Yeah. You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Aggressive view. It must have been Eileen's. How the hell is this Let's still working? It's close to the, 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 the elements. <laughs> well, it's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair. And the worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. <laughs> Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe... ...the lie... ...was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. Right? It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, and took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But what was not the purpose a of this side either. mission? She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. As for the data... Leviathan... I 
Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay. I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, yeah. why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. Hmm. Hell yeah. I guess if you didn't do it before, this would be a good way to get your, um... Wait, have I been over there? Yeah, I guess I have been. No. Playing to the water. Oop, little pop in there on the, left, on the right. That doesn't bother me. I get it. You know, sometimes the the engine has to ride it, and the the the, the system just can't handle it. I don't understand why there are groups that. Uh, I think that's unforgivable. Now, other things. Mm. Alright. 